two-headed snake. You guys may have never seen something like this before. His name is Ben and Jerry. He's a fully grown California king snake with not one, but two heads. We've kind of been keeping a secret. There's a sad truth about our boy Ben and Jerry. And look at him go. Now the sad truth is, is that Ben and Jerry, we've had him for about six whole years now. And when we got him, he was a fully grown adult. That means he's closing in on maybe 10 years of age. Now California king snakes, they won't live much longer than 15 years and maybe 20 tops. And, and honestly, I don't know if there's ever been a 20 year old two headed snake. Now the sad truth is, is that we don't have that much longer with him in the grand scheme of things. With my dad being gone, he was the one that facilitated and built those relationships where people reached out to him saying, hey Brian, I found a two headed snake. I hatched a two headed snake. Would you want to buy one? So that's really going to make it hard for us. And those relationships, we have to start developing again because we need more two headed snakes. This is the staple for our zoo and it's changes so many people's lives here at the Reptarium. Now, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. Ben and Jerry is completely healthy, perfectly fine. Eventually, coming up in the next handful of years, it's gonna be reaching that age where we'll go on to the next life from natural causation. That's not the only animal that is hiding some sad truths behind its reality. Take, for instance, our girl Matilda here. Actually, she's gonna live a couple hundred more years, so we won't have to worry about her for a while. Juliet. Well, this is Lucy, but Juliet right here. These girls are 20 foot long reticulated pythons. Now my dad hatched Lucy, which we don't hatch any more reticulated pythons. But Juliet, we actually got through a friend named Devin. And Dev, the good news is he lives not that far away. And my dad was like, yes, I'll take Juliet. Now we have a massive, I think she's a couple hundred pounds, 20 foot long. She is literally the biggest workout that a man can imagine. And I just jolted like that because Lucy here, just kind of said, back up. I don't want you in here. But the point of this is, is that how are we going to get more 20 foot snakes? Now, of course, my mom is still around and, and she she knows all the people. But I feel like my dad, it was a little game for him to message everybody. And even if he wasn't going to buy it, just stir the pot being like, hey, what you got over there? So it kind of puts us in a little bit of pickle. It's a pickle that we need to pickle. It's going to take some time to actually get that thing tasting right. I don't know if that analogy came out right. So much going on. Or he's yelling at me to go get murked from the basement. The doors are locked. The door was un unlocked. Just thank you guys. You've been crushing it when it comes to merch. The purple shirts, big hit. It's a lot of stuff. We don't have a warehouse. Lori's calling me, telling me to bring up these shirts. I don't even know where the shirts are. Now I got a caller. Deep breath, Jay. Oh my gosh. Yes. Hi. Hi. Can't find the boxes that you're talking about. Do you see the pile? No. You better be gone when she gets here, dog. <laughs> Do you see anything? Find it? No. It's right there. You know what happened to it? Isn't it in that box? No. Somebody obviously took it because right here there was a pile of it. <laughs> Saved. I remember one time Brian and I were hanging out here with a bunch of reptile guys walking around the zoo and just taking it all in. And I remember one of them said, It's crazy. You couldn't even see a collection like this 20 years ago. Half of these animals, one, the morphs didn't exist. Two, were impossible to get. People weren't breeding them. People weren't even keeping them from the wilds. It, it took a lot of work to get these incredible animals. It's not just like, Oh, let's go to the pet store and grab something. No, these are huge relationships that paid off in amazing animals that have become animal ambassadors for our place and we need to do our best to make sure we do that for the future now look at this snake this is a snake that not everybody can just go out and go get not only because it's expensive but because the rarity of it you can't just go down to florida and grab one of these out of the everglades no you would have to go to Pau Pau new guinea and go all the way up to the cloudy mountain then you'd have to find one and then you'd have to bring it home and i don't really know how legal all that is. i i don't know that stuff i don't really know anything i don't know how you get this but it's not easy odds are you're not gonna have one either hopefully this goes well all right chicken i really don't want to handle him so if he flies out here i'm gonna run me too got it yep all right <clears throat> stand up for this one chicken strip is our albino nile monitor as we mentioned in the past that this is the only one in the world there was one other one that was text message to my dad hey we found this he bought it Came, it didn't make it in the shipping transit <laughs> That sucks. That's what we're talking about right here. My dad knew people all across the world. In this location, we're talking about Africa. And that started many years ago when I was a kid, when he was importing ball pythons, literally 
how the ball python world basically started you was you would import ball pythons. You get a big shipment of them. You would sort through them. And there may be a, a pastel, but it wasn't named pastel. You would see it and go, this one looks different than a normal ball python. But those relationships stayed strong and they built upon each other so that, I don't even know what you call them, collectors of those animals in the wild would maybe see a chicken strip. They would go, oh, well this white guy with long hair in Michigan, United States of America bought so many ball pythons, maybe he'll buy this weird lizard. And he did. And it wasn't just Africa too. We're talking Indonesia right here. This is a snow blind albino Asian water monitor. And my dad had some crazy connections over in Indonesia. My dad was scrolling Instagram as he did a lot. And he saw this monitor right here pop up on his feed. He knew it was from Indonesia. And so what does he do? He texts everybody he knows in Indonesia. Nobody knows where this is coming from. He's got a gang of people just <laughs> going down to somehow it filters and he finds the owner of Hiccup here. And what what happens he buys him and now he's in our zoo for everyone to go and enjoy how am I supposed to do that how many purple shirts got ordered approximately it was like 600 or something yeah. in case you guys didn't know I said it before but we do not have like a fulfillment center we are the fulfillment center but thank you guys for order merch I'm answering already Oh no. Close the lid, it's fine. All right, everyone, if you order something, come stand on Van Dyke, <laughs> or he's gonna go 80 miles per hour. Hope you catch it. Oh my god, well, it looks like it all survived. It's heavy. Oh my the god, I didn't even good. think about that part. Oh my god, Listen, Lori. Ashley and I did it. Oh, no. Whoa, this is our girl's salt right here. Well, actually. This is our, our real girl, Salt. Salt, she will live for quite a while. Honestly, she might outlive me, but she's eventually gonna get hundreds of pounds so for the fact like we won't be able to pick her up and move her. And she will still be educational inside of the legacy slash reptarium, but we're gonna need more albino alligators. Well, I think we got a pretty good connection over at Gatorland with Savannah and so on. I think we're good with albino alligators actually now that I think about it. And that's honestly a big goal that we need to do here. And honestly for this year and for years following, meeting the people my dad was so close with, building a genuine relationship so that we can continue on what he was doing in, in many, many ways. More than just one way. Like figuring out how are we gonna keep this zoo stocked with amazing animals. You guys wanna see a magic trick? I pulled them out of the through the glass. That was cool. Dropsticks here is our two-headed red-eared slider. The amazing thing about building relationships, and this is goes for everything. We bought chopsticks, we have them, he's healthy. And so what happens? The same guy that reached out about chopsticks reached out about Tyson, our albino boxer. Leonardo and Donatello, our other two-headed red-eared slider. We need to get on top of it, man. We need to get on top of it and we need to start it now. Who's gonna build that wall? I mean re <coughs> relationship. Who's gonna build a relationship? Look at Neapolitan right here, or AKA Neo. We actually got this guy from Tony Stark. I mean, Bob Clark, sorry. Look at the beauty of this thing. You got the rainbow on the back, the white on the thing. Ooh, with a guy like Bob Clark. My mom also knows Bob very well because she was alongside my dad. So that is the one benefit. This business wasn't just my dad. My mom is right there with him. Has so many relationships as well. So we're not completely under the water like that. If it was just my dad and then, you know, this happened and then we had to restart, that would be overwhelming. But we're not like that. It is important for me and for the crew to also develop these relationships. I mean, because we're a part of the business. We're a part of the vlog. And not only can we give others cool experiences here, but Others will also be like, hey, come by my place, experience this cool thing, or I know of this animal that you may be able to purchase. I know this cool spot where you can see a crazy crocodile in the wild. Let's talk about Elvis. <laughs> to the bottom of the box. We're almost done. With box number one of go. five. Guys, what we're trying to say is thank you, Terry Beatty. Get your merch. All right, last box. You selling shirts? Yeah, I'm selling <laughs> shirts right now. B-A-R-C. <laughs> yep, B-A-R-C-Z-Y-K. <laughs> Bella wasn't really planned to be a part of the video, but hi, Bella. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You see that? I got it. I got it. Gabby, come pet Bella. Pet her? 
your hands seem a little full right now. I might have any bunch. <laughs> you might have any one. <laughs> They're so annoying. And I shedded it. You're Anyways. <clears throat> Put that Daddy, right here. Why am I biting her? Just to pet her? Yep. She needed a bell pet. Okay. She's very special. Bell is great too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Elvis. He has been a huge part of the Reptarium's success, honestly. He's a super friendly, extremely interactive, ginormous Asian water monitor that came from one of my dad's best friends, Kevin McCurley over at Nerd. And my dad was literally, he was best friends to the point where like, let's say my dad wanted to buy some and Kevin was like, I'll give you this type of it. My dad would be like, bro. No. You're getting Elvis or I'm not getting any Asian water monitor from you. And Kevin would be like, okay, Brian, fine. And so that's the relation, you know what I mean? Like, if we didn't know him and we just bought an Asian water monitor, then nobody would have any reason to give you maybe their best animal. They would just be like, who is this guy? Like, you know, I'm gonna give you the good, healthy animal, but I'm not gonna give you the extremely well-trained one. That's my pet. That was something that's special about my dad. Doubling, tripling, quadrupling. How many animals have we done? Ten. Ten Xing down on our main point. My dad was important. Our girl Perdita here. You'll never believe who we got this from. Kevin from Nerd. You know that guy I think I was just talking about? Him. This is quite literally the point we're making. My dad wants golden child cow reticulated python. Now Perdita's special because she was all white with only black. That was something my dad, I'm pretty sure he literally was just like, Perdita or no dealita. No, no deal. And, uh, God, it's really bad today. Kevin budged, and now we have Perdita, and hundreds of thousands or millions of people have held her, have changed their perspectives. I think Big Abe's first snake that he held was Perdita, and so many grandmas, and so many kids, and it's gonna be this way forever. So thank you, Kevin, we appreciate it, because without her, there would be thousands upon tens of thousands of people that may not like snakes now. So, so they would not take that Merch, cover it, because now the boxes are empty. It'll be fine. Do you, do you each other? What about the open right. parachute that <laughs> you have back there? <laughs> it, it should be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Alright, Michigan Woo! Glad she's so excited. Get your merch, reptilearmy.com. Thanks, guys. And look at this guy, he's, he's Carolyn right now. What is, what's Carolyn? Uh, he's Carolyn Baskin. Ba he's basking in the... Anyways, we're not complaining. It's not anything like that. It's, it's nothing actually like that. Being aware of the situation, being aware of how impactful my dad was, and being aware of the responsibility that is now laid on our entire crew's shoulders. Everybody. It's laid on everybody. That's, a, that's fine. Okay? It's also just a good little thing to remember, you know? I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying to be better at relationships. It's, it's an important aspect of life. It can uh, make your life more enriched, that's for sure. So, with that being said, if you guys ever see any really cool animals or really cool snakes, lizards, frogs, mammals, whatever the heck you want to see that is cool, make sure you reach out to us. Instagram, email, all that fun stuff. Because we might just buy it and then your animal might be displayed in the Reptarium or Legacy forever. And if your animal does get featured in the Reptarium or Legacy, the one that you find, you better not try to break it out. Ugh. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.